Take One Item, Traveler. Hey everyone, Team UDF here for a ZQuest tutorial slash guide episode. Today's question comes from Zelda player SV who asks, Team UDF, how did you get all those color changes in your text in AU? Let's go exactly find out, and then we'll take one of those shiny looking items. Let's return to, uh, remember I used for these videos so far anyway, the 2.5 classic interface. Let's go to Quest. Run down to our string table here, and here's the string in question that we just saw. Take one item traveler, let's open the string, see what's going on, maybe. Looks like a pretty typical string, except, hey, what's all this over here? We have some kind of new things. This is called a string control code, and this episode will feature basically just the changing color string control code. All right, um, you use this type of slash to open the string control code so that ZC gets ready to do something special. Because if you notice, look, none of these numbers or the slashes or anything appear in the text box down here. It's completely invisible. This first number is the one, is the one we're always going to use to tell ZC to change the color of the text box. That's just kind of like a one is the special command here. This next one, puns, is the C set number that we're using, the color set number. So you do have to know something about how color sets are set up in your particular quest file. And then this next argument is the color within this C set. So as an example, again, I'm telling ZQuest, okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna change the color of this text. We're gonna use C set one, color five within C set one. Okay. And notice, look, there's no space here even. If I put a space, it actually treats it as though there's a space in the text down there. So you don't have to put spaces after your string control codes. The game is actually aware when a string control code ends. And that's mostly because you're just putting in numbers for these things uh, instead of letters. All right, so let's go ahead and mess around with this. Let's make a brand new string. Okay. Also, um, actually here, cancel out of this really quick and come back to it because I want to point out 111. Okay, 111 is the default color, the default white in some tile sets. Not all of them, though. And as you can see here, this 111 produces this kind of red color. I believe in Coton it's 103. Yeah, 103 is the default white. So you will have to just kind of maybe mash around and look and look for combinations. So if I just start picking random numbers here, I can I can kind of get some different colors here. A lot of them seem to be the same. A lot of them seem to be completely black. It's not that they're blank. It's they're completely black. You can go up to I believe 999. Yeah, so here's a lot of this. I think 31 is the I can't remember if 31 is the max, but yeah. Let's make a new string. All right, so let's say take the take one of these magic and we'll use a string control code. Take one of these magic items. And guess what? We can change it as many times as we want. Take one of these magic items, fair traveler. Maybe you want a, a different color even for that. So let's say, hey, take one of these items, fair traveler, and the fair traveler will be orange in this case. I can use more than one color, and I can use the colors wherever I want. So hey, maybe that orange period kind of bothers some of you. So I could change the period itself back to white, and there we go. I can use as many of these things as will fit. Do note that they take up some space, so eventually if you were to use like one of the smaller fonts, maybe like a link to the past small or something, uh, you would eventually start to run out of room sooner because the string control codes are actually taking up your character limit. Uh, so just be aware of that. So yes, that's actually about the gist of it. Take one of these items, Fair Traveler, we can change the text as much as we want. Remember the first argument is always this one for the color text change. This is your C set. This is your color number within that previous C set. So let's hit OK, hit Done, save the quest changes, of course, so that we can go get one of our shiny items. If I can grab my mouse and let's return to the Coton Quest. Take one of these magic items, fair traveler. I should have put a freaking comma. Oh well. And we're smart, so we're going to take the cane of Barna. But yes, that is it. We've done it. We've created the string. That's how it works. There are other string control codes. I use plenty of them in AU. If you want to know more about string control codes, they are actually in the Zelda Classic Manual, and they're also hidden very cleverly in this magic help button right here. If you click this help button, a window will open explaining string control codes to you. They're all about this straightforward, but uh, go ahead and ask questions if you have them. I, like I said, I use a ton of string control codes in uh, AU. Possibly Lost Lineage as well, so yes. That is it for this exciting Q&A episode. If you have more questions, feel free to uh, ask them. 
if there's something small, I'll probably just answer them in a comment or a PM. Otherwise, if it's something big, I will try to do a video on it because I really want to do this series more often. I am also looking to try and do an interactive quest building series at some point uh, where I may stream uh, ZQuest on twitch.tv slash teamudf and we will build an actual quest on screen. Uh, release it to the public, of course. Leave it unpassworded so everybody can get inside of it and see what we built. See maybe how some things work as you guys were asking questions and we were putting it in the quest. And basically just use it as kind of a learning tool. And then, of course, upload the video series to YouTube. So if people open the quest maybe can't figure something out, they can go reference the video series instead. Let me know what you think about that idea. And I'll see you next time for more Team UDF Gaming. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye!